Hey guys, I'm at the SEMA show in Las Vegas and normally you don't run across a whole lot of vintage drag cars at this event. It's all about new stuff and new trends and you know new builds, but this thing really stood out to me. It definitely caught my attention and that's because it is a legit old school race car. You can see that the paint, they've polished up that old green paint, but you can still see some wear and tear on it. It's got some battle scars here and there. It's got that old look, like old lacquer paint. Really shined up nice though. There's not a whole lot of information on this thing and there's nobody with it as far as showing off the rest of it I would like to see under the hood. But from what I've gathered, it's a 302 cubic inch small block Chevy with Hilburn mechanical fuel injection. And you know, you can't see much under here either because of the tunnel cover, but it is cool looking. Slick sticking out of the back. These have been replaced. These are modern recapped pie crust slicks, but they're mounted to magnesium American racing wheels. Very authentic pieces there. Same with the front. These appear to be a more modern front runner tire, but they are magnesium American torque thrust wheels with no brake inside of there. So as I was reading about this car, the little information sheet says it was a gasser. And I don't know how accurate that is because gassers were required to have front brakes. I think they were required to have a roof also and a windshield. Um, but this car certainly could have run in the modified sports car class in the mid 60s. Uh, it could have also run in the altered class. There were some different options, but I don't think it ran as a gasser. This thing's got some cool pieces. You can see the taking the front bumpers off for weight savings. Took the grill out, put these little headlights in there. The moon tank with the little cast aluminum mounts. Those are really nice and very authentic. The headlights have been filled in for, again, for weight savings. You don't need headlights on a race car. You can see these super tall tires you know, they probably had something very similar on it before, and they had to notch this out where the tire was too tall and was gonna interfere with the fiberglass body. But a really neat looking car. The chrome roll bar is cool. Little padded headrest, the tunnel cover, all these little details. These are all really cool pieces. And they appear to be original to the car. Very cool piece. Let's look under the back of it. You notice it's got a push bar on it. That's really cool. It's got like a rubber sheet wrapped around the metal pipe. And I'm assuming that's a kill switch. And up under here, it's got what appears to be, um, could be an old or Pontiac rear end and some huge ladder bars that go way up to the front. Factory leaf springs, nothing real exotic under here. Just typical race car stuff from the 60s. We'll go look under the front of it. We'll see what they've done up here. It appears to be a factory frame. And instead of the original independent front suspension, they've put a round tube axle. And you can see these flat plates. They just stacked them up to get the width right and put little B leaf springs on there, spiral shocks. It's got some little lift blocks under it. And you can see those headers poking out over the frame rail, dumping out right here. Very cool. You can see no front brakes. Chrome tubular axle with a little bit of a drop in it. Lots of cool details on this thing. And it appears to be very much original other than the tires. Everything on this car looks like it's straight out of the 1960s. The chrome, the paint, I believe even the engine and transmission are original to the car. And it's part of the eBay Motors tour, which has been going around the country and landed here in Las Vegas for the biggest automotive trade show in the world. Definitely cool to see it here. I figured you guys would like it. Thank you for watching.